Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be really fun. I'm gonna go thrift shopping and take you along with me and then come back here to my room and show you things that I got. Some things that I'm hoping to find today are some little trinkets, some little glass jars. I really, really like glass. <laughs> I also hope to find some plain shirts that I can practice my embroidering on, or maybe some hats or fabric shoes. I better get going because the sun's gonna go down soon and I need to find all this stuff and come back and film. I am sitting outside the thrift store in my car. It's probably 90 degrees, so this is gonna be quick, but we're gonna go in and find some fun stuff. Let's go. Hi everyone, I just got back to my car after going thrifting. I think I was in there for at least an hour and I did some damage and by damage, I mean spent less than $10 and I got a lot of stuff. My car is shaking, it is 20 years old. If you would like to buy me a new car, um, please give me money in the link down below. There's no, there's no link, I'm not asking for money. A trip to the thrift store is not complete without going to Mickey D's, McDonald's, Mr. Ronald McDonald's household and getting some french fries <laughs> hello can i get um a medium fry please okay and that'll be it 268 thank you if you're following me on instagram you know that this is not unusual for me to order in accents Have a good day. thank you thank you i just got the medium fry thank you thank you and we're back got some McDonald's french fries or a medium fry please as I like to say oh look at the sogginess compliments to the chef way to go Ronald I don't have room in my heart for anyone other than Ronald McDonald no other Donald's actually that's a lie Donald Duck is up there I don't know of any important people named Donald like at all, besides Donald Duck. Like literally no one comes to mind. I should probably go and finish these before I start touching all the stuff that I got. All right, let's just dive right in. First, I'm gonna show you some trinkets that I got or some tchotchkes, as my mom says. I don't know if that's Polish or anything, but it probably is tchotchkes, trinkets. Here are some trinkets that I got. Little glass jar. I think I'm gonna use this to put some water in to propagate. <laughs> to propagate my pothos plant, which is hanging up right there, which should probably be in the sunlight more because it's kind of dying. I think it was a dollar. It's not in the best condition, but once you put like a gorgeous picture or two in it, it will look great. I also got this little guy. Look at how freaking cute. How sweet is he? I am definitely gonna be putting um, some plant cuttings in this along with this so that I can propagate and grow new plants. Keeping up with the glass jar theme, I got this cup. It was one doll hair. This was one of the first things that I found. Uh, I'm really glad that I found this. I think this, once I clean it up a bit, will be very stinking cute to maybe put, again, a plant in. I also found this. This little glass geometric shape thing, it has one hole in it right here. Um, I feel like this could be used as a terrarium or to put just like stuff in. Ugh, I just really like glass 
dishes and jars and bowls like oh this is so cute this one did have some brothers and sisters with it but i didn't end up getting them because i truly do not know what i would have done there was a lantern that i don't i just really don't know what i would have done not that i know what i'm doing with this i found these hats and i'm gonna embroider them maybe put some sunflowers on them the first one that i have here is just this simple gray hat gray this is not gray this is like a, a taupe a taupe hat it is straight up nasty so i'm gonna wash it i did try it on though so you know what i'll just do it for the camera now too i think i'm gonna put some sunflowers or like leave me alone on it and i found this hat which i think was a really nice find it's victoria sport so it's from victoria's secret i'll try this one on too since i'm disgusting and gross the third and final hat that i got i did try on at the store a bucket hat i kind of like this i don't know I don't think it's supposed to look like this on me, but I, mean, I kind of like it. It's different, it's weird, and it is reversible as far as I know, because it doesn't have any tags on it, so you can't really tell which side is which. Who knows if I will ever wear this, because <laughs> I think this is a children's hat, but I think it's kind of cute. I oh my gosh, okay. Hats off to you. I picked up this shirt, which is very old and it has a hole near the pocket, kind of right here. It's very worn in, but I think this is a perfect opportunity to practice my embroidering on it, um, about the pocket or in the pocket or on the pocket, embroider something on it. So we'll see how that turns out. This little number is very cute. I like it. It's a little bit big on me, a little baggier than I'd like. It says white stang, but wait, white stag oh my gosh tell me if you can read that like what does that say that looks like white stang to me but or i thought it said white ass stang but it says white stag i'm blind basically i'm really excited about this shirt that i picked up i almost put it down but i was like mm, better not this is just a cute mint green shirt that has flowers on it with um, some flowers in the shape of mickey heads and i think this is perfect for me to crop and wear this at Epcot's Flower and Garden Festival, which is going on now. I also got a plain gray t-shirt. It is from Old Navy, a size large. Maybe this is kids large. It is a bit flowy, but again, this is a nice soft material that I think will be really easy for me to embroider on. This is another shirt that I got. It's just a plain white t-shirt, very soft feeling. I made sure it didn't have any pre-existing conditions, AKA pit stains. If you know, you know. I did find black jeans. These are more like capris, if you ask me. Ew, just me in a crotch, haha. <laughs> I think I'm gonna cut these and distress them a little bit and make them into jean shorts because I don't have any black jean shorts. And also I just realized I can embroider on the pockets. The back pockets look what look would great embroidered. Would it look really great embroidered. I found these little bobby pins with sunflowers on them and I thought they were really, really cute. There's four of them. And again, I think these might be perfect for Epcot's Flower and Garden Festival whenever I go because you know, I just have so much free time. But these are just a really cute, simple little hair accessory that I think, look at that's really cute actually. Oh my gosh, wait. <laughs> I was just talking to my friend Alyssa the other day and we were talking about butterfly hair clips from when we were in elementary school. Who remembers butterfly hair clips? The plastic ones that were glittered, the the metal ones that had little uh, little springs on them for the wings. <laughs> I always love talking with my hands. I miss butterfly clips. Let's bring them back. Let's bring back funky hair accessories, everyone. I will start, okay? But I tend to get headaches at thrift stores because I'm looking like this and just looking at the books for... <laughs> for hours on end trying to read them in the contorted body position. Um, but I did find a Nicholas Sparks book. I think I read just about every Nicholas Sparks book, but I read the back of this one. This is Knights and Rodanth, and it didn't ring a bell. We love Nicholas Sparks, really great, easy reads. This is Plays for Actresses. It says, a first of its kind collection of 17 splendid plays with all female casts, each of them abounding with career making roles for women. Let's just slip to a page and let me read a little ditty for you. No, that's not a good page. 
Wow, I have so much to embroider. Let me know if you wanna see a video of me embroidering. I did teach myself this past summer and it has become a really great pastime for me and I enjoy making stuff for my friends too. I hope you liked this video coming along thrifting with me and make sure that you comment, like, and subscribe. Make sure to follow me also on Instagram at Steph Swift. I do post more on Instagram than I do here on YouTube. That's all for now. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. I need a better outro. Stay thrifty. No. Ow, I just cut myself.